Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is Monday, October 19th, so have a blessed Monday today. I hope you have a great day. Start your week off right. If you're going to work, you're going to school, start it off right. Your rest of the week will follow. Now, there's a lot of updates to, uh, this morning that I would like to go over with you real quick. Now, 27, Tropical Depression 27 has been formed. They went, they went ahead and gave it to them and saw that they had a center of circulation moving real good. It is 35 miles per hour. It is at 1,003 millibars. And right now, it is just stationary. Now, as far as the, the Western Caribbean, if you, if you would have looked at this last night, you would have noticed it went down to 20%. And it's more Western in the Caribbean. So let's go over what we have with everything. Uh, tropical Depression 27, which will be Tropical Storm Epsilon. It will be Hurricane Epsilon. Uh, it is predicted right here by NOAA as it passes by Bermuda. And I'm going to show you, Bermuda, how close that actually gets to you. So you might just feel tropical storm conditions. And it looks like it's going to uh, form hurricane conditions right as it's passing you. So it's going to be a little tricky uh, on the forecast whether you're going to get hurricane or not. Now, the intensity guidance models has gone up. Uh, earlier, they showed that it was just a, a little ridge to it. But they have some potentials for this to go all the way up to a Cat 3. Uh, but the average of it looks like it's going to be a high high end cat one and, and the, all, the other, all the other models do agree with that as well now here's bermuda right here and as you can see that some of the paths go right to the left of it and curve up but the majority of them which do show, show hurricanes which is this uh orange right here shows that's right on the east of bermuda and that is true i'll show you how close that actually comes uh, this is your system right here. It has a lot of lightning in it. It is getting strong. Uh, that is very well formed. It's, you can see the centers are starting to form up and get power. But we have other things to worry about as well. Now this is your winds, Bermuda. This is your 10 meter winds. And if you notice, here, here you are here, of course. So everybody knows. I mean, it's a small area, but you can see. But you, if you look at the chart on the right, that you start to get 50 to 58 it's almost 60 miles per hour winds uh, the day before it passes by and it does come up on your east that, that is what all the other models are showing but as it passes here's the purple here this is your hurricane force and as it goes by is when it gets all the strengthening but you but i'm showing you not out of that yet so when it comes by and passes it's going to get an eastern push and leave but when it leaves there's a chance of another whip uh, of hurricane forest winds that could hit you right here as it goes by so be very uh, aware of that because i showed wind gusts up the hurricane force whipping by a second time so that could happen now here's the track intensity guidance so you can see all the models do show it goes by with 40 to 50 miles an hour knots uh, we still have a low pressure system if you are asking what happened to the western caribbean whoever did all this praying for the bahamas and all the praying for florida all the models are showing nothing they just showing thunderstorms and the only thing we can pick up is we have two low pressure showing intensity guidance models that a 40 uh tropical storm 40 knot wind tropical storm could go around florida still and then hit georgia uh, as a tropical storm to a tropical depression and they have another model that shows it going over the bahamas as a tropical depression and moving into a tropical storm later but that's all we're picking up now the rest of the models totally disappeared now here's everything that you have going on here and as you know you have your tropical depression uh 27 over here but what i want to show you is we have another potential moving up over here on the right side if you see it coming off of africa it has a lot of lightning into it it has a lot of uh, growth with it and it is a fast mover and the only reason i bring this up is because when i was looking through the guidance models trying to figure out what happened to our western caribbean I noticed that later on in, in the model run that a low pressure comes up over here by Puerto Rico. Uh, now it forms up after it goes by Puerto Rico and then goes out to the ocean. That's just what I'm, what I'm showing on that one. But that's it. That's what we have. We don't have anything different than what is showing uh, on the model. It looks like everything disappeared. So if you prayed, don't be embarrassed that you prayed. Put it in the comments. Let me know that you prayed for, for all that uh, Caribbean mess to go away. Because I, I tell you what, it worked, guys. There's no there's no problem with the Bahamas. There's going to be some thunderstorms. There's going to be some, some weather. But there ain't no tropical cyclone. And we're only showing two paths 
now on an intensity uh, ensemble of where it can go. And only one show is to the Bahamas as a weak storm, and only one show is going around uh, Florida and hitting Georgia as a possible tropical storm. But that's just one. It's not like a bunch of spaghetti models going that way. So if you pray, please tell me in the comments. God bless you, man. God bless your heart for standing up for yourself and standing up for your heart. That's most important. Pray to your God. Corinthians 2. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing wor worlds, words of man's wisdom, sorry, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the prince, princes of this world that come to naught, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the prince, princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I hath not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. But God hath revealed this, sorry, God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the Spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man, but the Spirit of God. Now we have received nor the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is, it, which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Which things also we speak, not in the world's, sorry, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know him, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judges, judgeth all things, yet he, comes, yet he himself is judged of no man. For who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Amen. God bless you all today. I hope you all have a, a wonderful Monday. Get your week started right. Stay positive. Stay, stay energetic. It is contagious. All glory does go to God. Amen.